Continue with team covers this morning. Elise Haas is in Malala, where people are under go now evacuation order. And Cor Harlan is in Oregon City with details on the level two evacuations there. Melody Gonzalez is tracking the situation in Marion County and meteorologist Kelly Bayard following the air quality and the chance of relief for fire crews. Yeah, we want to start with the latest now on what's happening in Clackamas County. The entire cities of Malala and Estacada are under level three go now evacuations. That's in the red part of the map on your screen. Oregon City, Sandy and Canby are under level two be ready evacuation orders. That's in the yellow part of the map and green is level one. We want to get to Elise Haas, who is live in Malala. And Elise, what are county officials warning this morning? Well, I'm in the latest evacuation level three zone that just took place yesterday. And now people, of course, are getting out of town. So at this point, Clackamas County officials are continuing to warn folks that this extreme fire danger could continue. And the fire marshal says that this is the most extreme fire that they have seen in their lifetime. And so at this point, officials want you to know that everyone needs to be prepared for all levels of evacuations. They even want people in level one to be ready to go because levels can change in the blink of an eye. But do keep the roads open for those level three evacuees. At this point, firefighters have re-engaged with the largest fire in Clackamas County, which is the Riverside Fire, after taking a tactical pause yesterday. But they're back out on the grounds and trying to battle that blaze. It is currently burning at 125,000 acres and appears to be merging with the 180 82,000 acre Beachy Creek fire that's in Marion County. The Dowdy Road fire where I was at near Estacada yesterday is estimated at 2,200 acres and it is 10 to 15 percent contained. The Wilhoit fire near me in Malala has burned 500 acres and is also only 10 to 15 percent contained. There is that fourth fire, the Unger Road fire, burning nearly 1,000 acres in Clackamas County. Soon though, these four fires could be combined into common complexes. What that does, it opens up even more resources for us. Already, federal and state assets are en route to help. A team of FEMA firefighters from Texas will arrive sometime today, as well as five fire engines from Utah. Plus, critical air support will be arriving soon. I know a lot of people have been wondering, where is the air support? The thing is, the high winds, plus the low visibility from all of the smoke has really been what's keeping the air support away. I mean, you can't even see down, down the street in downtown Malala because the smoke is so thick. So it makes it very difficult for those crews who are trying to coordinate those air drops. So continue to stay with COIN6 as we watch all of these changing evacuations. We'll let you know when you need to leave at a moment's notice. Reporting live in Malala, Elise Haas, COIN6 News. Thanks, Elise. In the Oregon City area, people are standing by to evacuate if they have to. That's right. Cor Harlan joins us live with his latest this morning just outside of Oregon City. Cor. Good morning, uh, Jenny and Ken. Uh, you mentioned uh, half a million people have evacuated in Oregon. A lot of people here in rural Clackamas County are still thinking about evacuation plans should the fire encroach upon their property. There's a lot of homes out here, as rural as this area may be. There's still a lot of people living out here. Uh, and as evidenced by the uh, evacuations yesterday in the uh, uh, town of uh, Estacada and uh, Malala, uh, it's a very serious thing here. In, uh, in the, uh, this is from Estacada this morning. Where uh, uh, this is actually from Malala, excuse me, the, where police went around and loud hailed everybody that uh, it was a level three evacuation. Time to go, uh, they said, as they drove through the streets there, uh, announcing that on the loudspeaker there. There were a couple of volunteers there helping to people uh, to evacuate, even helping people evacuate livestock and animals as well. You know, there's not a tremendous number of roads out of some of these small areas, single lane highways in some cases. Uh, that actually prevented one woman, Carrie Trotter, who was under a level three evacuation at the time. She waited until the traffic had cleared. And that's why I'm waiting, because I don't want to make it, things worse on the road, and I know where I'm going, and it's not far. Well, that is a calculus that a lot of people have, uh, have been going on there. They know that uh, if they wait till the last minute in these level three evacuations and they need to go quickly, uh, that that time 
uh, may be met with lots of traffic on the roadways there. So this is a pretty, uh, a pretty delicate balance here. A lot of people looking for the horizon, looking at the edge of their property, sleeping with maybe one eye open last night, uh, just in the, in the off chance that they may need to be evacuated, and that is a threat that has become very real. should tell you one last thing, Jenny and Ken, here some evacuation centers have been set up as well for people to hear about. The closest evacuation centers from here in Clackamas County are at the Clackamas Town Center Mall. That is where the Red Cross has set up an operation there. As a backup to that, they've set up a spot to also uh, directing people to the Oregon Convention Center should they feel the need to evacuate here in the coming days. As uh, a lot of people have evacuated, and as I said at the outset here, a lot of people here in Clackamas County are thinking about evacuating. All right, thank you very much, Cor.